Well, welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. Last episode, we talked about doing updates in the App Store. This week, we wanna focus a little bit more on doing the actual App Store finding programs to use, because in the future, we're gonna talk about some programs that are free, but you still need to download. So we're going to discuss that a little bit today. You remember last time we talked about this little App Store icon right here at the bottom. And right now you see, I have nothing to update. So I'm all good as far as updating, but let's say I'm looking for a particular program. This is where you would go and get it. These are the easiest ways to install programs. So click on the App Store, and it comes up, and it's gonna take a second to load. And there we go. So, and the first thing you see is the feature. This is what Apple is, I don't wanna say promoting, but they basically are promoting these featured applications at the current time. So you see here's Planet, and it's like productivity, and it costs uh, $29. So maybe that's something you're interested in. Here's Element, it's a game, and it's free, so you see all kinds of stuff that's in here, and um, if you're interested in seeing more of this type of information, you can click on See All. And as you scroll down, you'll start seeing different subjects. Here's like what's hot, and here's a Happy Street game that is free as well. Uh, here is Sky Gambler's Air Support, it's $4.99. So you see what I'm saying, it's one of those things where uh, it kind of works like the, any store on your smartphone. If you have a smartphone, you're used to this type of thing already. Now, one of the things I want to show you about the App Store is, say you have more than one Mac, like in our family, we have multiple Macs throughout, um, five or six of them throughout the house. So the thing about the way Apple does it is you buy a program and you can install it on all of your Macs. So if you come over here to this top part where it says purchases, I'm gonna be able to see everything that I've purchased through the App Store. Now you see I have most of this stuff is installed because a lot of it's on this machine. And you can scroll down, but you can find things that are not installed. Like I would need OS X Mountain Lion on this machine because I'm already at Mountain Lion. So I don't need I need to download it if I was not at Mountain Lion. So you can scroll down and you can see all the things that have been purchased but not on this machine. And you can easily install them by clicking install or download, whatever the option is. So you don't have to buy a program more than once. You just gotta go buy it one time for all the Macs in your house. So it's an important thing to remember that if you want to go put on another machine that you can just reinstall it by coming in to the App Store. Now, um, the App Store, again, like I said, is very, if you're used to uh, a store like um, the App Store for the iPhone or iPad, or if you're used to the Play Store on um, Android, this is gonna be very familiar to you and how you get around it. But if this is the first time you've ever experienced an App Store, best thing to do is just go through and look at different things. So I was on the featured page in the beginning here, and if you come up here, you can see all these different categories over here that you can pick from. So say you want a news app. So you go to news, and what it's going to do is it's going to show you different news things you can download, and you see some of them are free and some of them are paid. So you gotta decide, do you want to buy the app um, or you don't? Now, if you want to know more about it, obviously you can click on it, and you can see screenshots of it and what it does, and you can also read uh, reviews. On this particular one I looked at, doesn't have a review. So let's go back and look for another one. So let's go back one page and let's go to Read Kit. It has reviews, gotta see the stars. And here again, you see the different screenshots of how it works. And here you see reviews and you see the, there's 12 five-star reviews, four four-star reviews and three, uh, I'm sorry, four three-star reviews. And there's even a couple of one and two stars, but you can come down here and you can scroll and you can read the comments about it. and. I always say take these with a grain of salt because sometimes people when they're upset make things worse than what they really are. And sometimes it, competitors actually pay to have some comments put in here that are negative. So take it with a grain of salt, but do you know read them so you're somewhat informed. Uh, I will say if you do get an app that you do not like, the app store is very good about giving you back your money for it. So I've had that happen one time to me for something that I got that didn't do what it said it did and they give me money back. So I know that they're really good about that. So that was the App Store. It's a neat thing to go in and kind of search around. And you can see I have tons of apps, but I've been using a Mac for many, many, many years. So um, I've collected lots of things over, over the past. But some of the things we're going to talk about in the future coming up actually come from the App Store. So I wanted to cover that before we got to that part. So that's this week on Mac Minute. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. 
You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.